This is advanced bolt maintenance for a 170R. First thing to do is remove the drivetrain from the marker body. The marker can now be placed off one side. To remove the cam and the bolt. Maintenance of this is shown in the basic maintenance. So we won't cover that here. At this point, we're going to just remove any old and excess grease from the outside, just to make it easier to work on. Make sure everything's clean for when we reassemble. Now we need to remove the bolt guide. This can be done by using a 564 or a 2 mil hex key through a couple of the holes inside the bolt guide. Just gently levering that around. It'll come unscrewed and the spool will come with it. So have inside here a spring spring guide, spool, and bolt guide. We have a couple of final components inside here. We have the switch, which you'll need a pick to carefully go inside, just pull the switch out. And also inside here we have the plunger, which is what holds bonnet in place. Those are now all the components. The drivetrain. Just go through at this point, just again clean all the old grease off. All these components. Can inspect all the seals as we're cleaning them. Really should be no reason for any of these to be nicked or broken, so you very little wear and tear on all of these components inside the gamma core, and inside the switch. The assembly, we can put the back cap on. The most fiddly things is dropping the plunger back in, obviously it has to go with the dome face going downwards towards, and just push that down into place. Start greasing these, re reassemble them, and grease the switch. Two O rings on the outside, number 16 is on the outside of the switch. Apply some grease to the spool seals. Then we can actually assemble these. Slide them all in together. We have switch followed by spring guide by the spring and then spool. Slide all those in. Slide and screw in bolt guide. Bolt guide again, we can place a hex key through to the holes, gently work this into place. We need to make sure there's no gap at this point here. It's very important that we go metal to metal on these two components here. This keeps everything aligned and straight. Then just like in the basic bolt maintenance, we need to lubricate two number 13s there. Then the can and the bolt assembly has already been lubricated. We attach that to the drivetrain. Again, not really necessary, but we'll do it in this case just to show how to do it. Just wet the O-rings around the outside drivetrain assembly. And we can insert the drivetrain back into the marker body. And that's the advanced bolt maintenance for 170R.